so today we are going to study about attenuators attenuators are the circuits which are basically used to reduce the magnitude of the input signal so these are basically the connecting circuits between two systems for the input generator and also uh, for example amplifying stage so here the amplifier cannot accept the high input voltages for that reason we are attenuating it to some extent means we are reducing its magnitude to some extent and then combining and then giving that reduced magnitude to the amplifying stage so this is the basic circuit which is basically having two resistors the output voltage is r2 by r1 plus r2 into vi this is the input signal input of signal vi so v not c here this vi which is there it is reduced by this particular factor okay now this v not is given as input to the amplifying stage this is the basic circuit of attenuator but when this becomes input to the stage of amplification there comes the capacitance stray capacitance this is the converted capacitance which comes into existence when two systems are combined so this capacitance is known as stray capacitance now let us now consider the rise time tr is equal to 2.2 into r1 r2 by r1 plus r2 into c2 so this is the rise time i want to say i want to why i am considering this rise time means see basically r1 r2 values are very large why we are taking large in order to give high input impedance to prevent the loading down of the input signal we are taking these two values to be large but when these two are large the rise time is also large which is not acceptable so high rise time is not acceptable for that reason we are going for compensation now compensation comes over here compensation means very simple till now we know that r2 is being shunted by stray capacitance now we are shunting r1 also with c so this is the compensated circuit that we are going to change or we are going to draw a bit better like a bridge so this is the bridge circuit where these four acts as the four arms of the uh, bridge now what happens is that when this bridge is balanced then v not is equal to alpha vi that is what we want here alpha is equal to r2 by r1 plus r2 this could be achieved only when this is balanced when bridge is balanced then there will be no current flowing across this path xy can be omitted then v not is equal to alpha vi the balanced condition is this r1 c1 is equal to r2 c2 but practically this is impossible because c1 is adjustable so before going further let us now consider the input to be step now step means this at t is equal to 0 we are having abrupt change from 0 to v volts so when such a signal becomes input to this to this circuit what happens so let us now understand it by the nature of uh, capacitance what happens is that when vi is equal to v volts when vi is equal to v volts so what happens is that now we are considering this uh, uh, you know nature of capacitor what happens so when vi is equal to v which means the input voltage is full on v volts what happens with the capacitor the capacitor which is there it can be considered as a frequency controlled resistance so it completely depends upon the frequency of the input signal when the frequency is increasing the reactance decreases and acts as a short circuit conversely when vi is zero volts frequency decreases reactance increases and acts as a open circuit now with this concern we could just understand that when v volts is applied these two capacitances they act as a short circuit then infinite current which is there it is going to flow across these capacitances giving them a voltage q 
that voltage is given by here. So Q is equal to 0 minus to 0 plus, that is the time limit during which infinite current. So this is the time, it is very small. So small for the small time, it will be giving this voltage across each, giving this uh, charge across each uh, capacitance C1 and C2. Then the voltage across uh, C1 is V1, C2 is V2. Now, let us see. So this is the charge across C1 which is Q. Initial voltage C1 is equal to Q by C1 is equal to V1. Charge across C2 is Q. Initial voltage Q by C2. Basically Q is equal to CV, right? We know that. So you want voltage Q by C uh, capacitance. You know the capacitance is C1 and C2. So this initial voltage across C2 is V2. So you got initial voltage V1, V2. But here in this the voltage which is there it is taken across R2 which means C2. So this voltage will be the output voltage that means the output voltage at a time Q, Q plus will be the output voltage right at time Q, Q plus that will be V0 of Q, 0 plus. So at this time 0 plus you will be getting voltage V2. Now we are going to divide this output voltage at 0 plus and the initial voltage V which is sum of V1 plus V2. Then we will be getting this this one because V0 of 0 plus is equal to Q by C2 by initial voltage then we will be getting this voltage. This is all at time 0 plus. Now let us consider that particular time which is infinity. At this time what happens this uh, step which is there it is becoming 0. At this particular means there is no input voltage being applied. Then the as I told you when input voltage becomes 0 Xc becomes very large it becomes open circuited then what happens the voltage can be obtained across only resistors so the output voltage will be this only right r2 by r1 plus r2 into vi the same happens so the output voltage is given by v into r2 by r1 plus r1 uh, r2 by r1 plus r2 so this is the voltage at infinity time so by using this compensated circuit, you will be getting this voltage at infinite time, right? So this circuit hence can be used for the attenuation. So here we have many drawbacks like uh, this straight capacitance being added. For that reason, we are taking this uh, rise time. Using this circuit, the rise time which is there, it can be made the rise time which is there it can be made exponential of rc how so let us consider this r and c to be parallel to each other 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 and c which is there c1 plus c2 then it, it becomes exponential of this uh, resistance and capacitance rc like that the rise time also became exponential of RC. Here will not be having the problem of this type of rise time. Okay. Now there is one more thing which yet to be explained is C1. As I told you the C1 which is there it is uh, becoming what adjustable. So depending on the values of C1 there are three compensations which have to be explained. So these are the three compensations as the C1 value which is there it keeps on changing because we are adjusting it. So this is practically impossible like uh, you will not get this condition uh, if C1 is greater than R2 by R2 C2 by R1 which means V0 this is greater than V0 of this is over compensation and this is under compensation. So these are the compensations which are basically uh, depending on the C1 value, okay? 
if you have still have how this balance condition is uh, like how it is derived let us now consider this particular v naught of infinity is equal to v naught of zero zero plus then it will be giving at infinity you are taking voltage across right across resistors at zero place you will take in then when you r2 c1 place r2 c2 is equal to c1 into cross multiplication r1 place r2 c1 then what happens is that we are just uh, cancelling out these two then r2 c2 is equal to c1 r1 so like this we will be getting this balance condition this is perfect compensation this is over compensation this is under compensation so like this we could just uh, understand very simply the attenuation i think this is enough to write there is another thing which should be attached with this is application of attenuation which if possible we will be making another video on it so till then i hope you understand if you have any doubts you can just post it in the comment section so that you will understand before leaving i just want to rewind if you see the page like this it will be messy because i wrote it like that this is the basic circuit here you'll be getting voltage um, this is a straight capacitance which is being added whenever you you add this you combine this uh, particular simple circuit with some am amplifier this is straight capacitance added here we have considered the uh, uh, rise time which is a drawback for this we are having this compensation which is nothing but we are having the extra resistance which is added this is the compensated circuit then we have understood it by that this particular compensated circuit also follows also gives that particular attenuation then we have seen the three compensation circuits depending on c1 value because c1 value is adjustable this is something we are we are adding it over here right c1 value is added by us so this is how it works if you have any doubts you could just ask me and uh, till then i hope you are clear with this so this is how attenuator works there is other thing which should, which should be written which is a application of the attenuator that's it so 